right here with head women's basketball coach Kerry Lauren, forward Grace George after a nice win, season opening win over Lake Superior State. Coach, we'll start with you. Talk about just kind of the emotions before the game and then early in the game of getting back on the floor. A little different, no fans and stuff, but it, it had to feel good. It, it felt great, yeah. But I we definitely had jitters all the way around. Um, you know, you, you, we haven't played anybody but ourselves. We've, we haven't had a scrimmage. We didn't have an exhibition game. And so, you know, sometimes you, you're not totally exposed. You sort of get used to some things in practice that you think you're good at or you think might be a weakness. And then all of a sudden, now you, you learn a little bit more about your team. Mm -hmm. And um, I thought that um, we certainly were in learning mode that first half. And we made some adjustments at halftime. And, you know, kudos to our, our veterans who in our starting lineup. Um, our four juniors, you know, did a nice job of being good leaders, um, not letting that first game jitters kind of carry over into the second half and just lead them by saying, hey, let's let's regroup and, and you know, just play our game. Let's defend. The offense will come. Grace, we'll turn to you. 20 points, seven rebounds, a couple steals. Uh, talk about what was working for you, and, and, and it seemed like uh, you were able to do pretty much what you wanted to do once you got in the ball in a good spot. Yeah, right. So um, the stat came out the other day. We haven't played in, what, 300 days. Over so it's, it's been a long time. <laughs> Um, so just having that feel going into the game, you know, we were ready, we wanted to go. That first half didn't go the way we wanted to. Uh, Lake State's a fundamentally sound team. They're a great team. Give kudos to them. We play them in 24 hours, so we still have to come back and have that momentum going forward. Um, but, yeah, I think once we settled into it, we played personnel. We knew our job. We did our job. And overall, I think that was a great team win. Coach, let's talk about that third quarter. You talked a little bit about the halftime uh message that you gave to the team 25 to 4 in that third quarter it's pretty impressive especially on the defensive end I think that that needed to be our focus you know like Grace said it's been a long time everyone's anxious they've been you know maybe getting up shots on their own doing and they want to be able to just go out and you know maybe put make baskets right, right. they want to go out and just make buckets and we have to like hey let's get away yeah. from that we, I mean gosh we took 26 threes I don't even know if we're like a three-point <laughs> shooting team it was like ay 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 so so just be solid play defense stick to what we know we were able though to just cap just really emphasize at halftime there were probably three to four times where we scored in the first half that everyone remembered it, and it was about execution. And so they were all able to recall, oh, yeah, I remember Tori. Yeah, it was what we do. It wasn't trying to do some razzmatazz and over. There was some muscle memory coming there. Yeah, and then they're like, oh, yeah, th those buckets, yeah, we did score on that. So just getting us kind of back to, like, basics. You know, we want to do so much in such a little time. Yeah. That's how I felt, you know, the first 20 minutes was probably for both teams. Yeah. Like, you just want to go show everybody what you got and um, just settle down, play as a team. And, and overall, I do think that it was a really good team win. I was able to play everyone. Um, I got mostly everyone in in the first half. And for me as a coach, I'm still learning. You know, I've got some new players and and, you know, I see what they can do in practice, but when the lights come up, it feels different. So I'm trying to learn them, too. Grace, talk a little bit about looking forward now. Talk maybe what some of the things you're going to do individually and as a team recovery from, from a recovery aspect. This is maybe new for some of you that are veterans in the program, going back to maybe AAU or high school days, the back-to-back -back days. Talk about the strategy there and some of the, the methods you're, you're going to look to. Right. Well, I'm still learning, too. I mean, this is going to be the first time doing it, so I might have a few more answers tomorrow. Yeah. Um, but the plan is to just, you know, be focused tonight, have a great meal, coach has got us something good coming. I think we got grilled chicken, so I'm excited. <laughs> so just doing the little things to recover, because you know, it's like what you eat, it's what you do, it's when you go to bed, it's when you wake up, it's drinking the water. It's all those little things that makes you an athlete on the court because you have to do everything behind the scenes. And I think that goes forward for everybody. Mm -hmm. um, us captains are really gonna push that, especially to our freshmen, because I know this is new for them too. Coach, to wrap up, talk a little bit about from a coaching and strategy standpoint, playing a team, uh, I th we've seen it a little bit around the GLIAC. Uh, I think Purdue Northwest and Michigan Tech, the, 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 the deficit swung pretty heavily in those two games from a strategy standpoint. What do you expect from Lake State, and what do you expect from, from your team? Well, I, I expect that Lake Superior is going to come in with, you know, a, a, they're mad. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're going to come in, and 
they're going to defend and they're going to really box out. They're, they're great. Um, um, fundamentally, they're, they're going to, um, you know, just try to attack us back. And so there's n Lake Superior has always been a, a team with a lot of fight. Mm -hmm. And I know that it's just going to be a battle tomorrow. I really believe that. I think tomorrow, forget about today, clean slate. As coaches, we're going to try to find some points to, to focus on. They're going to find some points, but it's going to be a battle tomorrow. I know they're going to come ready to play. Absolutely.